A little flavor there from inside the room as earlier today, Liberal MPs met with the Prime Minister. It was a regularly scheduled uh, caucus meeting, but nothing was regular about that meeting. More than two dozen of them uh, went to the microphones asking the Prime Minister to step aside, according to sources who were inside the room. A number of other MPs, and in some cases ministers, jumped to the Prime Minister's defence to vocalise their support for the Prime Minister, but my sources say that there were more MPs speaking who opposed his leadership than were in favour of it. The Prime Minister ended that caucus by promising to MPs that he would reflect on his leadership. So what is the status of that leadership and what prospects might a replacement face? Who better to answer those questions than my next guest, CTV pollster Nick Nanos. He's the founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research. Hi, Nick. Good to have you here. Good to join you. Let's get the lay of the land at this point in time. What can you tell us about what your numbers are showing you about where the Liberals are relative to other parties? Well, you know, the thing is, in the latest Nanos tracking, you know, the Liberals still seriously track the Conservatives and in the double digits, they're marginally ahead of the New Democrats. And you know, if the Liberals and New Democrats are close to each other, that's a dream scenario for Pierre Poiliev and the Conservatives and a nightmare scenario for the Liberals. And it, it, can you tell me a bit contextually about where that ride has been over 2024? Because it yeah. feels like a long time they've had a sustained disadvantage versus the Tories. And public yeah, opinion. well, the Conservatives have been in the driver's seat since last August. 2023, so for more than a year. But here's the kicker, Vashi. You know, when we look at the trend, and you know, we do weekly polls so we can capture the trend first. And what we're seeing is, is that the greater the speculation that Justin Trudeau might be stepping down as leader, the liberal numbers are improving. The really? gap between the conservatives and the liberals are narrowing. So like four weeks ago, Pierre Poiliev had like a whopping 20 point advantage over the liberals and the New Democrats. Fast forward now, and that's only a 14-point advantage. That's a big difference. I think, yeah, absolutely. And I think for a lot of Canadians, four months ago, it like, looks like this guy's staying. But fast forward to the last couple of days, and it looks like perhaps, and no one knows what will happen, but there's the potential that he may step down and that perhaps there's some Canadians who are thinking about a Liberal Party not led by Justin Trudeau and are looking at the Liberals again. That gives us some indication of why Conservatives are not thrilled at the thought of, of Justin Trudeau leaving. What is, what is your overall impression, based on what you just laid out, of whether or not it would be a more permanent boost for the Liberals if he did? Oh, I think it would be permanent. You know, the, the reality is, is that, you know, no party leader can win an election when their house is divided. Because the reality is, is that even if 20% of Liberal caucus members don't want Justin Trudeau to lead the party, it sends a message to Canadians. So, you know, why should Canadians trust a party leader when their own party is divided on them? So, you know what, Vashi, the damage is done. Whether he stays or goes, the damage has been done just by these MPs posting this letter and now talking more openly about questioning his leadership. So, so let me ask you, because the, the, the pushback we get from kind of the people in and around the Prime Minister, even publicly as you hear him sort of respond to questions about this is, this isn't punching through, right? This is politics, you guys are consumed with politics, I've got other stuff to do. Is your sense that the prospect of the Prime Minister leaving has punched through to the general electorate? Oh, abs absolutely. You know, the, the fact of the matter is, Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister, he has been the Prime Minister since 2015. It would be a game changer for him not to be the leader of the Liberal Party. It doesn't mean that the Liberals are gonna win the next election but it changes the political landscape fundamentally. And you know, for Pierre Poiliev, he, he wants to probably run against Justin Trudeau. The Conservatives have built their whole strategy around that. And uh, you know, if the Liberals embark on a, on a leadership renewal or a change in leader, all the parties are gonna have to retool their strategies. And let me ask you, what if they don't? In, in the counter to that, in your sense of if the Prime Minister instead goes back to caucus and says, look, here's my agenda moving forward, here's my proposition in the next election, and it includes, I don't know what the wholesale change is, but some kind of substantive change. I'm not talking about a few tweaks here and there, but something like, for example, getting rid of the carbon tax, or, or I'm not saying this would happen, but let's say that is, versus leaving the position. Can that kind of wholesale change with the same leader change the numbers for the Liberals, do you think? It might change them a little bit, but I don't think they'll fundamentally change them. So, you know, Perhaps Justin Trudeau can talk about things that he hasn't delivered on, like electoral reform. It's probably something that he wants to do. It could be a big thing that would appeal to younger voters. But you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that you know, if it looks like the same old party, 
and it has the same old leader with the same old policies, we're probably looking at a result that will favor the Conservatives. And just finally one more question, because a large majority of the MPs who are in opposition to him staying on are from Atlantic Canada. There are other areas, a few from Quebec, a few from southwestern Ontario, but primarily from Atlantic Canada. What in the numbers explains that? Well, you know, when we look at our seat projections in Atlantic Canada, it's going to be a bloodbath for the Liberals in the, in the current scenario. You know, like, MPs like Dominic LeBlanc will probably hold on to his seat. It might be a seat in northern New Brunswick and Bathurst, a seat in uh, Halifax. But beyond that, it's going to be thin gruel for the Liberals right now in this current configuration with Justin Trudeau as leader and the current policies that they're in. So it kind of explains, as my friend Rob Benzi calls it, the SOS campaign. Save our seats. Panic, <laughs> panic, <laughs> probably for Liberal sitting members of Parliament in Atlantic Canada. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, Nick, thank you so much. Appreciate your analysis and perspective as always. Nick Nanos is CTV's pollster as well as the founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research. We have